Hello YouTube, today I have another vi uh, gaming pickups video for you guys today. Um, first off, I want to start off by uh, saying, like, a, like I said in my last video, uh, I'm going to start off all my videos asking for Q&A questions. Uh, if you have any questions for me about personal game collecting or just gaming in general, uh, let me know. Just I'm pretty open about pretty much everything, so you can feel free to ask me anything, and I'll answer them. And if you do, I'll give you a, a shout out in my video and link your channel, so... Uh, be sure to do that if you're interested in my Q&A video whenever that comes out. I've already got a couple questions lined up. Um, but yeah, so let's get into the gaming pickups. Um, uh, to th this game pickups I only have three things, but the three pretty awesome things. Um, we're going to go least awesome to most awesome, but they're all pretty awesome. So, uh, Which is kind of different than I normally do, but since I only have three, it doesn't really matter. First thing is a brand new PS3 game I picked up. Since uh, I did order some stuff offline this week, so that's why it took so long to get this video out. But uh, so uh, two of these things are new. One of them's used. But uh, first thing I got is a brand new PS3 game, and that is Earth Defense Force Insect Armageddon. This has to be one of the most ridiculous games I have seen ever. ever. Uh, I didn't know about this game. Uh, until somebody uh, I know on YouTube mentioned it, and it was pretty uh, interesting sounding. I, I actually heard it in one of a podcast that I listened to, but um, it's it sounded really interesting. So it uh, basically what this is is it's set in the future, and basically uh, evil alien thing has started to invade, and they've made genetic uh, enhanced insects, and you have to fight them all off in Detroit. Which is a very odd game, but uh, uh, it's really, really fun. It's just a really fun run and gun game, kind of. It's third person, you have four different classes, and you level up the armor on each class and level up each individual gun to get uh, better stats and stuff, which is kind of cool. It has online and local co op, which is fantastic because there's not very many local co op games that I have. And this was just a really silly, fun one, and I could. Woo! Almost dropped it. And I could just play it for a long time. And uh, I've actually did test out uh, survival mode with one person online that was a random. And it, it was actually really, really fun. Uh, it's a really underrated game. And for a budget title, this was like... I think this was released for $20 when it first came out. And for a budget title, it's fantastic. I, I can't rec not recommend it. It's just fun. Uh... The story is really meh, and the voice acting is pretty bad as well, but it's really fun gameplay, so I, I recommend this if you're just looking for a good run and gun. Uh, next is a limited edition, and uh, you already if you check my channel, you've probably already seen the unboxing of this, and this is Fate Extra Limited Edition. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, I haven't played a whole bunch of this. Uh, sorry about my hair as well, it's kind of all over the place right now, but I haven't played too much of this yet. Um, uh, but for, from what I see, it looks like it's a mixture between a visual novel and an RPG. It's more, to so, it's more so visual novel with RPG elements, which is pretty interesting. Um, which is okay, because uh, I don't play too many visual novel games, um, but uh, when I do, I usually tend to enjoy them. But uh, I do like being more involved in, the, in, uh, in a game than the visual novels tend to uh, offer, which is kind of nice because that, uh, this game offers a little bit more than a normal visual novel because it has RPG-style battles and a level-up system, which is kind of cool. Um, so if you're into that sort of thing, I recommend checking this, thing, this game out because it's pretty interesting. It's got a very, uh, very nice art style. I love the art style in this game. And for the graphics on the PSP, fantastic. Um, one thing I didn't like about this is I really don't like the soundtrack. Um, it's a pretty big flaw for me. It's just, it's just, it doesn't really click for me, but, uh, maybe if I get further in the game, better songs will come out, so, I mean, yeah, so Fate Extra, pretty cool, uh, game there. And last is something that I'm gonna kind of semi-unbox for you, is, uh, another, cl uh, limited edition, collector's edition, whatever you want to call it. And this one is the one I got used, but I saw this at my local used store, and I did not expect to get this at all. I was just kind of, kind of, excited that they had this. It was a it's a PlayStation 2 uh, collector's edition, and it's Sakura Wars: So Long My Love. 
Now this game is a uh, kind of like a strategy RPG with 3D elements to it. And uh, this came out on the Wii and the PS2. And the Collector's Edition is only on PS2, which makes this kind of an odd game in general. Um, now, the really cool thing about this game is it, it includes a lot of bonus stuff. Um, well, a pretty good amount of bonus stuff for PS2 Collector's Editions. Because most PS2 Collector's Editions barely I really had anything. But this one has a good amount of stuff. It comes with three things, as you can probably read in the bottom. Uh, but first, it, it, it has a pretty good art style. I really like this art style. It is, I believe it's the same person who did, who did the Tales of series for a while, if not still do doing them. But it has that same artist, which is really cool. Um, but uh, this comes with three bonus items. It comes with a poster, a, and this is the really, really cool part. It comes with a Japanese version of the game. And now when I say that, it's not like how most games are now where you can choose from Japanese or English uh, dub in the menus. It comes with a whole separate disc. And one disc is the English version, and then the second disc is the Japanese version of the same game with English subtitles, which is really, really cool. That it, I didn't think that'd be that cool until I got it. it was, it's really awesome. I kind of never seen that before. And, uh, and then it also comes with an, a post. I already said poster, didn't I? It comes with a poster and an art book, a mini art book, uh, as well. So, uh, I think that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let me show you what comes in it since I didn't do an unboxing video of this. Uh, the game case itself is actually over my PS2 shelf. Um, so the game case isn't in here. I usually tend to take the game cases out so I don't have to open up the boxes a lot. Because I like to keep the boxes in as nice of a shape as I can. So all that's in here is some the bonus materials and the manual. Because the manual is actually really thick and is kind of more like a strategy, a mini strategy guide. Um, so we'll go through the uh, manual first. Um, here's the manual. It doesn't fit in the case. It's too thick and uh, a little too tall. Um, which may, And it kind of offers strategies. It's black and white. But it offers strategies on how to play the game as well. So it's kind of like a strategy guide and a manual at the same time, which is kind of cool. And it also has background information on every character, a prologue, and uh, it comes that it does that in, uh, I believe, uh, Spanish and English, or is that French? That is French. My bad. Um, yeah, it does that in French and English, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that is one of the best uh, manuals I've ever seen. Um, next, uh, it comes with a mini art book, and it, this is a pretty nice art book. I, it's not, definitely not the worst art book I've ever seen, but it's not the best as well. It's small in size, it's paperback, which I, I don't like paperback art, uh, art books. Um, but the art in here is pretty cool. And let's see if I can't find a really good page in here. Uh, it also offers like a little interview with each character, which is kind of nice. Uh, the Record of Agris War kind of did, did the same thing. Uh, it also tells you like blood type and height and weight of each character, which is kind of cool, with a little bit of art on the right side of them. Um, let's see if I can't find... Um, let's see. That's a pretty cool picture. See, it's got some cool artwork in there. And it, and it has, like, every character has a, a big picture, and then it has the title, and then it has, you know... A uh, little interview with some info and then two more pictures of them. Which is kind of cool. I like how they did that. And then it has a uh, little building layout, which is kind of cool. It's just a really interesting art book. Um, not something you really see all that often. And then the last thing it came with, which is something really, really cool, is um, this poster. Which, if I can, I'll try to unwrap this as carefully as possible. Uh, if you're asking why I don't hang these up, is because I don't hang up my limited edition posters. Uh, if I get something like, uh, I have my PS4 posters, I still don't have those hung up, because I don't have any room for them. But yeah, it also came with this uh, really cool poster. Uh, really, really nice, I like it a lot. Uh, nothing on the back, it's just a one-sided uh, poster. Pretty cool. Definitely would uh, like to have, to hang this up, but you know. It's part of my collector's edition, so I probably won't be hanging that up. Um, what I might do, though, is one day I might uh, f get photocopies of all my collector's edition posters and, like, 
hang them up that way. So, uh, I know a lot of people don't like that, but I mean, I have the real version of them, but I just don't want to ruin them, if that makes sense. So, yeah. That is everything that came with the Sakura Wars Collector's Edition, which is kind of cool. Really awesome uh, that I have those. So let's do a little bit of an overview. I got two Collector's Editions. These are ex almost exactly, these are exactly the same size box. That's kind of cool. Um, two Collector's Editions and Earth Defense Force Insect Armageddon. Um, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I'll be doing another gaming pickups in, in a little bit, hopefully. Um, this next one, I'm going to order one thing offline, and then I'm going to go to my used store and get some stuff there. So it should have more items um, the next time, and uh, it'll also have one cool thing that I'll be waiting for. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment box below. If you have any game recommendations, please be sure to let me know about those. Don't forget the Q&A questions, and uh, comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.